Well, I continue to wade through Midjourney's expansive style space by repeatedly running prompts with SREF Random. I've been saving my favorites to an ever-growing library, and if you're not familiar with style references, using a style reference saves you from including lengthy style descriptions in your prompt. And SREF Random is a quick way to explore a lot of styles. A couple weeks ago, I shared 10 of my favorites. Today, I'll share 15 more, how you can access more than 100 name styles, and how to save them in Discord for quick access. All images in this video were created using Midjourney's V6 model, and I used the default style weight of 100. Without further ado, let's go through these 15 random styles. Starting with Sienna Surrealism. I gave every style a name because it made more sense to me than reading out a number, and it makes it a lot easier when you're creating shortcuts, which we'll talk about later. This style is an interesting blend of photorealistic illustrations and surrealism, but there are also hints of a photographic style and blocks of color like we can see with these orange circles. These are the text prompts that I use to create most of the images in this video. As we go through these styles, pay attention to the images where the word photo was included in the prompt. You can often make an illustrative SREF code produce a photographic image by including the word photo. To use this or any of the style reference codes in this video in your own prompts, just include the style reference parameter followed by a space and the SREF code number at the end of your prompt. Tessellated Vision If you liked the mosaic tapestry style in the last video, you might like this one. This style creates images with interesting textures and mosaic patterns. The color palette for this one is neutral and muted, and there's almost a slight 3D effect on some of the images like the flowers and the stardust creature that remind me of textured acrylic paintings. Stick and Poke. Intricate details are the focus with this one with its black and white drawing style illustrations. There's an emphasis on clean, precise lines and intricate shading. The fine lines reminded me of modern day fine line tattoos, hence the name. So if you're trying to come up with a tattoo design, maybe try making some images with this style. Monochrome Melancholia. This is a monochromatic gritty style that blends photography and realism with elements of collage and photo montage. The images look weathered and distressed. I think some of them look like old black and white magazine shots that have been folded or pressed with plant stems and old glass film plates, giving them a grungy look. Stop motion collage. This is a super creative style that blends paper craft, collage, and illustration. The main color is light teal, often accented with pops of pink, yellow, red, and green. It's easy to get a lot of playful and imaginative images with this style, and if you include the word photo in your prompt, you can even make it photographic. Green Fortitude Defined by its shades of olive green, this style combines surrealism and minimalism. Blocky, concrete structures and lone, contemplative figures are common elements in these images. I think this style feels a bit somber, isolating, and reflective. Storybook Surrealism This is a great illustrative style that combines whimsical storybook illustration and surrealist imagery. People and creatures have eyes with personality, and even the car has eyes here. There's an emphasis on clean lines and flat colors. The muted color palette is primarily blues and grays with some pops of color. This style is sometimes quirky, imaginative, and I think it would make a great style for a narrative illustration. Gold Ephemera. Gold, bronze, and green are the main colors with this style. The images are photographic and over the top with detailed, ornate, and shiny elements on almost everything. Pink Neo Cyber Chromatica. This is a great futuristic sci-fi style that can be photorealistic or photographic. Cyberpunk elements and dreamlike surreal qualities are the vibe here, and vibrant neon pink is the standout color. Aged Mint. Characterized by a faded, vintage look, this style blends photographic, photorealistic, and illustrative mediums. I think many of these images look like they were painted or printed onto blocks of wood, they're weathered and distressed, and it's a great style for an aged vintage look. Playful Whimsy. This is a fantastic, fine-lined illustration and drawing style. The main colors are yellow, blue, and red, usually offset by a muted black or light-colored background. Details are plentiful with this whimsical style, and you can even make it photographic. The Watcher. A moody, photographic style that is right up my alley. Images are muted and tinted a pale shade of blue. 
This style aesthetic is dreamy and otherworldly, and the images for the stardust creature and the bird hint at uniqueness and oddity. And it also looks really great at lower style weights. Cotton Candy. We're stepping right into a whimsical dreamlike world with this style. Magical glow, mist, and iridescent colors fill these images. This style is at times a blend of photographic and photorealistic 3D animation. Interpretations of scenes are often wistful and sometimes cute. It works well on pretty much any prompt. Soft Denim. This style is characterized by a muted, monochromatic color palette dominated by various shades of blue and deep indigo. It combines realism and abstraction with misty, atmospheric backgrounds. Plum Doodle. This is a fun, whimsical style where the predominant color palette is rich plums and lavenders accented by soft grays, creams, and other muted tones. It's an intricate and detailed style with an emphasis on organic forms and intricate patterns. It also leans slightly into strange and fantastical. You can use any of these styles in your own prompts by including the style reference parameter and the SREF code number at the end of your prompt. But I highly recommend saving your favorites as shortcuts in Discord so that you don't have to hunt down, copy and paste SREF code numbers all the time. Let me show you how to do this with the aged mint style. In Discord, type slash prefer option set, a space, and then give the shortcut a name. Then press the tab key and click value and paste in the SREF code number. Then press enter. And now we have a shortcut named aged mint that contains that SREF code number. And then to use it, just type a prompt, add the style reference parameter, a space, and then two dashes followed by the shortcut name. When I submit the job, Midjourney automatically converts that shortcut to the SREF code number. To learn more about this shortcut tool, check out this video. All of the SREF codes that I shared today can be found in these guides. I'll put the link down below. On each style page, I named the style, gave it a few keywords, and show at least nine images with diverse prompts that hopefully give you a pretty good sense of the potential for each style. Remember, all of these examples are shown with style weight 100. If you think a style is too heavy, but there's something about it that you really like, try lowering the style weight. And for more mid-journey tutorials and prompt inspiration, please be sure to like, subscribe, all the things. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.